Good morning traders and welcome to this week's weekly market analysis Monday the 14th of October. All right, this week in terms of data, I have everything that's coming up listed on my side. And the highlights are locally, we have our unemployment figures due out on Thursday. And the other major data, which is of significance for this week, is from Europe, we have interest rates decision coming out also on Thursday. So take note of those. Um, that's pretty much the bulk of it. Uh, let's just get started and kicking off into analysis with the Aussie US dollar. All right, if we have a look at my chart over here, actually this particular week I have a lot of charts that are correlating quite a lot, so we'll have to make a decision so we don't double up on trades or triple up on trades um, that we may see. But looking at the Aussie dollar here, we are in a clear step in motion, okay, in that type of pattern. So what we're looking for around about this region already, we are looking for a candle, a price action candle pattern of reversal. And when I see it, well then basically that's my signal to become a buyer and to continue into this uh, short trend uh, or this trend that has started off. So that's the type of trade that we're looking for currently at the moment. Let me zoom in a little bit more. I don't quite have it, but I'm just gonna throw a marker onto my chart so that I know what I'm looking for. I don't quite have the pattern uh, specifically uh, that, that I'm looking for, um, but let's just see what may happen is we may just drop down a little bit further and we may get the pattern over here, for example, like that, and then that would be the signal to become a buyer. As long as we don't go below this previous low here, then I'm still looking for that idea to, to basically buy into a reversal okay so there you have it that's my aussie us dollar let's have a look at the euro usd similar similar concept here um, the one thing to note with the euro usd is that we had a double top over here the market came down came down and then basically shot off that's already occurred um, we have not quite a straight line, but we have somewhat of a, a resistance line there. But again, the concept of this one, we're looking for a reversal over here. Um, what I'm trying to do is trade in this direction. Uh, it's pulled back. If I can get a, a reversal there, confirmation, that's my trigger to become a buyer. And as I look at these candles right now, we'll actually do have an inside candle already. Oh, these two here that I've just highlighted, that's already a set of inside candles. So that means today's candle, which is this little one here, which you can see just moving right now, if that breaks the high of that one there, that's it. That's my trigger to become a buyer. However, if it comes down and breaks the low, then you need to cancel out the order as it will not constitute a valid setup. Okay, so there you have it. We can place a pending order on our Euro USD and let's see if we get triggered into this particular trade. All right, let's have a look at the GBP USD. Again, similar, we can see that they're correlating. So if we get a couple of these trigger, you need to make a decision whether it's something that you, because that are somewhat correlated, you could be increasing the risk into the same market movement. So please take note of that. Um, on this particular one, we have come lower and we're kind of matching that level. So this one, to be honest, is not as nice looking. So for this week, <clears throat> let's leave the GBP USD out of this particular equation. Okay, let's move on. Okay, US yen. US yen, let me zoom out a little bit further. I just want to see what's been taking place. Okay, so this level was respected. We did get a bounce off that. And other than that, the, the trading envelope, oops, the trading envelope is in there somewhere. All right, so let me zoom back in. The most natural trade that could occur here is for the market to reprive down after this long movement, a pullback, and then continue into this direction. 
and it will possibly give it a bit of a test again at that level because it's a level that's been respected two times already. So, But that's quite far away from where we are right now. So what we can look for on this particular one is let's look for reversal. So we zoom in. I do have, there is an inside candle set already. Let me just snap one. So those two candles, there's an inside candle pattern, these two, one, two, and that's today's candle. So that means that if we were to break the bottom, we can be triggered into the trade. However, if we break the top, which we are very close to, then you've got to cancel it out and it's not a trade. All right. So please take note of that. Um, we could possibly place a pending order here and keep a close eye on this one in the Euro USD as, it, as they are opposites of correlation. Have a look at some correlation charts um, and just to see where it, where it lays where you could possibly take both. Okay, but we, I get the feeling we won't get triggered into both. One of them will probably trigger the opposite side of that inside candle, which would make it a not valid trade. All right, um, moving on, let's have a look at Brent. Brent, let me zoom out a little bit so I can see it. Okay, so there's a really nice... Um, tops up there, but we've already had a sharp movement off it. Big movement there. Okay, look, to be honest, Brent, this week, there's nothing that I really like about this particular chart so I'm just going to leave it um, the only thing I could suggest is if I draw a line across there I could possibly wait for the market to come towards it and then if I get something there then it's a trade that I might be interested in as such okay but we're a little bit far away from that one anyway so possibly for this week no action here all right final one for the week let's have a look at gold Let's zoom out again. We are still continuing to push up into new territory. We've touched near we've 2677. Um, look, when we're in such trends like this, and let's zoom in, the, you know, the theory is that we just continuously keep buying into the trend until the trend finishes. Um, the last opportunity was over here, these two candles. They were inside candles, so you would have entered here and see so you would have been up already. And there's another inside candle over here, you can see, and it's triggered up. I'm just looking for them on the dips. Throughout this section, unfortunately, there was no trigger for here, um, but you can see that they do come up um, quite often. Another one there, okay. Um, so you need to look for them as we're into the trend, but this one's already happened. So for us today, there is basically no action at all on that one. All right, so there you have it. That wraps up for this morning. Again, posted up on my side here, I have the major news events for this particular week. The highlights are unemployment figures locally on Thursday and from Europe we have interest rates decision which is also takes place on Thursday. Please take notes of those uh, bits of data that are coming out. Have a great trading week and I'll speak to you next week for the weekly market analysis. Bye for now.